Hi, my name is Anna Du, the Microplastics Girl. Today, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to microplastics. Here at the ocean, a lot of plastics with very low density that float on the surface of the ocean have accumulated along the shoreline. Microplastics start out as everyday trash, just like this. And when you throw this trash away, although some of it does get recycled, a lot of it ends up in landfills. Some of these landfills stretch as far as you can see, but for many of these landfills, these plastics are transported there or from location to location on super barges. On these giant landfill barges that go from rivers to oceans all around the world. And sometimes they can lose trash overboard. And yet other plastic trash finds its way to our rivers and oceans all on its own. Did you know, for instance, that washing polyester clothes is a major source of microplastic fibers? And these and other forms of plastic pollution ends up in our ocean through drains and sewers. These particles break down into smaller and smaller pieces until they're so small, these microplastics are indistinguishable from the tiny life we call zooplankton and phytoplankton that are found throughout the ocean and form the basis of our entire food chain. And this means that fish and other forms of aquatic life will eat these microplastics, thinking that they're food. And this causes the pollution to spread throughout the whole ecosystem, it rapidly moves throughout the entire ocean, and ultimately ends up in terrestrial food sources, as well as spreads throughout the entire planet, creating potential health dangers for animals and humans alike. For now, let's head back to Boston and talk about plastics in the ocean. This side of the beach is actually an enclosed bay. Let's take a look underwater. There are lots of signs of healthy life here and not too much pollution. And over here, just a little bit further away, you can see that the water is almost crystal clear. This side of the beach, just a couple hundred feet away, is directly connected to the ocean, and you can see that things are pretty different here. On this side, you can see plenty of life in the forms of barnacles, seaweed, mussels, and clams. But just below the surface, it's a sort of a different story. Here, there's some pretty clear evidence that the water is far more polluted. You can see what appears to be a plastic Wi-Fi router case, and not too far from that, you can see lots of wires and cables as well. What's important about this is that this is connected to the rest of the ocean all around the world. And this means that the microplastics that are in one area can easily be transported to any other part of the world. And that's very dangerous for all of us. But fortunately, there are many ways that we can begin to fix this problem. And that starts with all of us using less plastics and also recycling properly. In my next video, I'll show you how to do just that.